the negative reactions he got from people online regarding his opinions on the Drake and Kendrick beef. And he said he was very surprised when he saw a bunch of people online who he would consider friends having some very mean-spirited things to say about his defense of Drake during the beef with Kendrick. And it almost made, and it kind of made me think about when I lost interest. Because there was a period of time where I was taking part in the debates online, especially on Twitter, and I was kind of contributing and kind of adding to the conversation. Then it got to a point where I was like, this is a bit lame. People are taking this way too seriously. There's like personal attacks flying all over the place. People are being very mean in the thing that they're saying. And I'm just like passionately defending somebody that I like the music of. That's it. That's what that's what hip hop debate should be, always be about. Not about, you know, insulting somebody's intelligence, saying that person's a faggot because they like fucking Drake. Like all these weird things. I was like, bro, what the, where the fuck, where the fuck am I? Like, what is this? So that kind of turned me off on the beef and it kind of got a bit drawn out, a bit tired for me personally. But obviously in more, he's obviously of a much higher profile. And he had this clip that went viral where he was very emotionally defending Drake and kind of perplexed at how people could view it a certain way. And it sounded like his voice was breaking, like he's about to cry. So everyone was kind of looking at that. And for some reason, obviously the mocking thing makes sense, but they were going extra hard with the insult, saying some very mean spirited things, especially his friends. And in this particular clip, he says how disappointing it was to check his social media notifications, go through his mentions and see some of the things that his supposed quote unquote friends had to say because of his opinion on Kendrick and Drake. So let's hear what Moore has to say about it. Like a bunch of comments and things like that about me, like in the last week. Okay. How, what? It's interesting to see a few faces and a few names in there that's talking crazy. Me. Very interesting. <laughs> All Damaris. I didn't see well, I didn't see Damaris. I didn't see nothing with Damaris. But it's it's been it's been interesting seeing the people that are have some very, you know, questionable energy and things to say. I mm. do as of recent, I've done a lot of like Reddit cleansing and comment cleansing. I don't particularly like check the way I used to. Yeah. But then I'll do what you do. Like weeks later, be like, all right, man, I got some time. Let me see what's yeah. going on. And it, that might piss me off more. Because now if it's somebody I know or someone that I need to text about a comment they had, yeah, so much time has passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're probably, why are you, yeah. why you hitting like, me why now? This, bro? Why yeah. now? Because <laughs> yeah. I just saw it. Now I'm mad. Yeah, now, now I'm not really mad, but it is, it, it like. is some people in there that, that I, I had said some things. And it's like, oh, okay. Like I know, I know where to put, I know which compartment to put you in now. Like yeah. we not as we not as cool as we once was. Mm. Yeah, that's a fact. It's a few niggas that ha had some shit to say. And I'm just like, what? But what's crossing the line with like rap debate stuff and associates? Uh just questioning things that have nothing to do with the music about me personally. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Like when people start doing that, start saying things that's like personal. Because mm -hmm. all of this shit yeah, it's is like, subjective. It's music we're talking about here. None about of it Kendrick is, and Drake. What, yeah, do, I, like, what do I have to yeah, do? Yeah, like none of this is none of this is that serious. But it's like some people have had some things to say in some comments where it's like, oh, you it's something else you feel some way about. This is a this is a personal comment that you posted on the internet. And you got my number. Mm. So yeah, but you can't really, get you can't get likes and comments when you yeah, call but someone that's, to rep. But that's why I gotta put you. So now I know which box I gotta put you in. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I thought you was something other than what you are like okay so it's it's this fine it's no it's no it's no beef it's none of that it's just you know when you know when you see somebody say something you like because mm. i'm doing that a lot now too like people say certain things i'm no longer taking it just for what they said like i'm looking deeper into that comment now okay. like where did that come from because mm -hmm. people do that because people will tell you that they have an issue with you or they feel some type of way about you without really saying it mm -hmm. they'll say other shit and it's like oh that's interesting Coming off the Kendrick and Drake beef is that's what you want to say about me? Some niggas don't get a dap. Some niggas get a nod. Now some niggas don't get nothing. Mm. Like that's the that's the gay. That's the that's the that's the balling part about it. When you just walk past niggas that you used to kick it with, and they know why. Oh, they know. They always know why. Like damn. Oh, he must have saw that. Yeah. Or oh, he must have heard that. Or oh, somebody must have told him what I said. Mm -hmm. Like it's always that when you when the energy goes from. How I usually am with people, like, yo, what's good? Da, da, da. To just straight, like, walk past them, they know, like, oh shit, he he heard. I hold on to those comments though. I so yeah, so as you can see from what Mo has been saying, he was really surprised and perturbed by some of the personal attacks he was probably getting from his friends. I don't think he was probably disturbed by how passionately the fans were getting at him. I think it was mostly the friends. But I have to kind of pick up this and say. I was perturbed by how passionately and how fiercely and how 
psychotically some people psycho no psychotically whatever 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 that fucking word is defending their guy when the whole kendrick and drake thing was happening it almost made me understand now why some people online don't like sport fans i honestly understood why because i'm a very passionate i'm a very loud i'm a very aggressive sport fan online some of you have probably followed me on twitter you know how how i get down when Matt and i are playing you know you know i let it fucking fly i say some crazy shit on there and I think in general, that sort of like over, that sort of like eagerness to sort of like go crazy online to defend somebody that you don't know can come across a bit weird to people. Like, what the fuck? Why are you that invested in it? Like, chill out. But obviously some people see football as sport or sport as hip hop, whatever it may be. Cool, whatever. The, the main thing that I remember from the beef that really annoyed me was that it almost felt as if like, depending on who you're supporting, people had a, people judged your character and what you were like as a person based on who you're defending. So it almost seemed as if being a fan of Drake in that hip hop and Kendrick beef was almost like being a fan of Taylor Swift against Madonna. That's what it almost seemed like, or like, no, or Taylor Swift against Bjork. That's what it almost seemed like online. They were making it seem like, oh my God, how can you like Taylor Swift over Bjork? It was like, bro, Drake, I know you might not like his music, but Drake isn't fucking Taylor Swift. Let's be real for a second. Because the reality is, whenever the fucking Spotify wrapped list comes up, and you mother, you lamos, I've never done it in my life, by the way, but you fucking, you know, Redax post your Spotify wrapped list of who you listen to, guess who's on there by hook and crook? Yes, bitch, you guessed it, the mulatto god. Of course, because everybody says, everyone wants to look a certain way online and say certain things, underground this, whatever that, but your Spotify playlist doesn't fucking reflect that in the slightest. You've listened to all the bait people that we all listen to. So this idea that you were somehow way more cultured and intellectual and way more learned and way more clued in and plugged in because you like Kendrick over Drake was lame, especially in the nature of the beef because the beef was a very singular, isolated, siloed thing. These two great people in their field going head to head, bar for bar, doublet for doublet. Who do you like best? It was actually an easier thing to judge, especially if you were a fan of the music, because guess what? We got some of the best music we've ever got from either party. If you're a fan of Drake, you've got fucking, what is it? Four more songs that you can listen to this year that he probably would never have released because of the beef. If you're a fan of Kendrick, you got to hear from him in fucking the first time in years. Because he doesn't really put out runaways and whatever. He usually just puts all his work into albums. So for the fans, you fucking won. We all won because we've got the best content, the best fucking music, the best raps, the best melodies, the best choruses, the best even visuals from fucking both of these two guys. Even the visual that Kendrick did of the fucking man. And I, I realized it later on that those dots were fucking from, uh, I forgot the website, but the website where you go check fucking pedophiles and shit. That's where those dots were on Drake's mansion. How fucking genius is that? How fucking clever is that? I just assumed that was just like, oh, he Google mapped his fucking house. I'm going to be there with all my boys. I never thought that, that those red dots represented the eight people within Drake's crew who have some sort of fucking crazy shit on their jacket regarding kids or some sexual assault thing. I never knew that. I was like, what the fuck? Obviously the Drake thing with the video for Family Matters and how it moves in different, three different fucking phases. The end bit at the end, Family Matters. That, that last two minutes, 55, might be one of the best tracks we've ever heard from Drake in like the last five years. Not like us from Kendrick. When's the last time not Kendrick has given us a bop? When's the last time he's given us a fucking a bop? Come on, bro. The whole of LA is fucking shocking out to that shit. And fans online are fucking judging you. Oh, you must be a faggot because you like Drake. Oh, you must like fucking, you must only like black power music because you like Kendrick. It was so annoying, so lame. That's why I had to bow out of the fucking debates because people, people made it lame. The fans made it so fucking lame. Especially the ones that were trying to read into everything. Oh, he said that line because actually he was born on the center solstice. And when he was born, it was actually Earth, Moon, Shadow. And his mum's name begins with M because her name's Maria. And like, shut up. Shut up. Fermi la bouche. What are you talking about, bro? It's just rap. It's just hip hop. It's not that deep, man. These guys made it so lame. And imagine... Losing friends over fucking hip hop. Losing friends because one of your friends like Kendrick and one likes Drake. Lame. It's just as lame as those fucking motherfuckers back in the day. Or because you like Trump, I'm not going to be... People, people, people's families were broken in half because of Trump's presidency. That fucking wig-herring, spray-tan donut guy broke your family up. 
Your family wasn't worth it in the first place. Your family is a f it deserves to get run over by a fucking semi. If if that guy could break up your fucking family because one person voted for him. Who gives a fuck? It's not that deep. It's never been that deep. Really. Honestly, I hated it. I'm so glad it's fucking over. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually glad. I don't care who you think won, whatever. If you think Kendrick won, cool. Enjoy yourself. If you think Drake won, cool. Enjoy yourself. We've got some tunes out of it. We've got some summer bops out of it. We're probably going to get some deep albums out of it too. Because so, don't think the indirects are going to stop. Drake, when he drops his new album, he's going to still be sending for fucking Kendrick. Fucking Kendrick, when he drops his album, he's still going to be sending for Drake. We're going to still get the fucking ongoing. But the debates online and the judging of people and almost like dismissing and, you know, belittling and just acting like a cunt. To be, like, God, uh, uh, you think you're a better human than me because you can recite fucking Pimp to Pimp a Butterfly lyrics. Go dance in a fucking, go dance on train tracks, bro. Go dance on train tracks if you can get better than me. It almost, it always, always reminds me of that time I went to fucking South London to a rave somewhere um, with this person I used to know, right? Yeah, um, hope Corey dies. But when I went to this fucking rave in South London and um, it was just like, alternative like black rave thing you know you know guys that wear fucking wooden beads and shit you know that sort of malarkey right all that earth moon shower sort of nonsense shit everyone carrying a fucking camera and acting like they're photographers girls with armpit hair being models and shit all that sort of nonsense right all fucking posing on next to a wall right everyone fucking in braids oh your hair's not nappy it's beautiful like that all right whatever yeah cool i remember being there and this is at the height of when that song by kendrick we gonna be all right, wherever that album is from, right? We gonna be all right, wherever that album was, right? That's fucking the underground version of fucking what you call it of that of that fucking Childish Gambino song, um, in my opinion. But anyway, regardless, it was playing, and I think I'm such a hater, I'm such a contrarian. When people were getting happy at the joint, like almost like as if they were in like a civil rights movements march or something in this nightclub in South London somewhere. I, I was filled with rage because of how happy they were. I was just standing there like, fuck them, man. Like, lame. These guys, this motherfucker thinks he's Frederick Douglass because he's jumping up and down reciting the bars to this fucking track. Anyway, this girl was like, she, she danced and she was like looking at me like to try and recite the bars. Like, we going to be a... And I was like, who's this? This is pretty good. This guy's, this guy's quite good at rapping, isn't he? He's quite good at rapping. He's got, he's got a lot of potential. And the way her face fell, like, you don't, you don't know... Who Kendrick, who K-Dot. By the way, if you're a fan and you refer to Kendrick as K-Dot, go and dance at the nearest fucking motorway and fall over, please. If you refer to Drake as the boy, please, please, please go and drown in a shallow pool. You're a fucking loser. Don't be that invested. These guys aren't your friends. But anyway, do you not know who K-Dot is? I was like, no, actually, I just played dumb and the whole thing. And I love the fact that I brought that fucking sadness and that defeat to her face. She must, she turned around like, oh, he's not a real black. He's not a real black. He doesn't know. He he can't recite all the lyrics from Mos Def's album. He doesn't even know Mos Def's name is Yassine Bey now. Like, go and dance somewhere else. Trying to judge me for my musical taste. I like all things. I'm a normie, matcha, latte drinking, basic ass bitch. I like everything. If it's got a bop to it, man's gonna fucking dance to it. Don't fucking judge me and be all high and mighty because you like fucking albums without fucking album covers. Go and dance somewhere, please. And preferably somewhere where you might die. But again, what do I know? What do I know? Actually, I don't know why this end is so toxic. You see what happens when you start engaging in fucking Twitter dis discourse? That place just makes you toxic. It's not me. It's them. <laughs> Big up DSP. I did everything right. I did nothing. I did everything correct. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> Yo, big up my guy DSP, man. I hope, you know, yeah, I hope you're good too. Anyway.